when they, when they were calling me and when the Lord told me, they gave me a prophecy that you are an evangelist of God. I said, no wonder I've been seeing so many men of God. I've been seeing men of God that are evangelists in the office healing. This is what I wanted to be a prophet. I want to be seen. I'll look at you and I'll tell you. Because I believe that that, my own understanding was that I believe that that will help me. Because I wanted to just go to the main road and stand on the mirror and be seeing things about people and be telling them so that they will be forced to repent. But that was a baby Christian thinking. So that was a baby Christian thinking. So what did I do? What I had to do was engage in the calling. I began to study books. I began to read books. I began to read books of evangelists. What it means to be an evangelist. I was reading book by Derek Prince, Can I hug in my sweetheart? I don't joke with Can I hug is my sweetheart. After the Lord appeared to me and released these books on my hands, I started reading this, but I had a vision. In that vision, I saw books falling from heaven. Thousands of books, and I stretched my hand and all the books fell on my hands. And it was written in that book was Can I hug him? And I bought all that man's book. All. Any of his book that is out is the anyone that is out is the is the maybe they just released it maybe this year or last year or maybe he didn't, he's not in Nigeria. But if I didn't get it in hard copy, I would get it in soft copy. I have all his books and I read them, I digest them, I swallow his book. My greatest fear is that his book will not finish. I want as I'm reading, he's no long, he's no more again, but the, the son is rewriting some of his books. So I the more I read the in fact, I, I absorb it. You you have been in one chapter, one book. You've not finished it for three months you'll be reading one particular book and when they call teachers you come out when they call evangelists you come out when they call prophets you come out when they call psalmists you come out when they call keyboardists you come out when they call drummers you come out drumming nonsense and i began to feast i wanted to be a prophet i don't even i don't envy apostle office say apostle but i don't want to envy i don't even envy that office so what did i do I began to read book of what it takes to be an evangelist. I began to study them, to know them, to lambano. know. I would sit down and listen to four hours. Them. Thank God for the people, someone like Apostle Tochuku, that was a person that subjected me to books. He saw my zeal. He said, you have a strong zeal. But if care is not taken, that zeal will be misdirected. So because of the zeal, the first thing you need in serving God is a zeal. If you don't have it, you can't serve God. The zeal came. Because, see, when you are reading books, it will be sweet to you, it will be frustrating you. When you read something that, you see people that are saying that they pray this way, they sacrifice this. I don't mean human sacrifice, they sacrifice their body. I don't mean cutting any part of their body. They discipline their body in the place of prayer, consecration. And you are saying, Kai, I can't do this one. When you are reading it, it's open your eye, it is speaking to you. So you begin to, I begin to sharpen myself. At that time, I started ministry, I started preaching. You are waiting till you grant to start preaching. The little you know, preach. You see, God loves it to start. The humble beginning. He said, don't neglect the humble before. For I, I love to see it start. I want to see it start. I enjoy it starting. You are waiting till when you start, before you want to be the house, you have to have the full money so that you start building. You are wasting your time. It's when you start. You start it in faith. And God that sees your heart will help you out. Sometimes if you don't engage yourself in a project, money for that project will not come. That's why churches don't wait till they gather all the whole money. A church that is growing will start. They keep believing God. And God will be leading people. And I began to read books. To grow myself. In the place of reading that books, I was commanding demons. Demons were leaving. Kai, demon, Kai, come out. And you see people fall. Some of them will cry with a loud noise. They vom, some people vomit all manner of nonsense. I say, God, what is in the walk? Oh. Command them. At the point, a the time came, the, the anointing stopped. Demon, come out. Yeah, be, be, be. The person is looking at me. I thought maybe I've offended God. I didn't know that it is time that God is saying, come up. Come up. Now you need to know more. I met men of God. They say it's a normal thing. That there's a time it stops. I said, no, nah, no, nah, I don't believe in that. It happened to me. I called my mentors and they said, hey, yes, yes, that's it. I didn't have so much mentor. I have book that I have apostle to Because him too, you see, if you, if, you, if you mentor someone like me, you must read more than me. Because as you are reading, I'm reading. 
if i see any book you have in your hand i will i will see i will buy it i will digest it i used to go to the woman and collect books on credit i'll tell her i'll pay back i didn't have any one naira in my account i'll just pack books because she trusts me that i will pay back take book of what twenty thousand naira, close to 40 books i'll collect them and i'll say i'll pay i'll transfer money i'll transfer money she said okay don't worry three four days that she will message me before that time she message me money don't come how he comes i don't even care i don't even know how but god will provide And now I can even send someone to the place and say, Madam, give them book. I will pay. The woman doesn't. Because I have built a relationship. He knows that this man would do what he said he would do. You are saying that you have an anointing. How many books have you read on that anointing of God? Man of God, I'm anointed. What do you know about anointing? Do you know how it works? If it dries, what do you do? What do you know about it? Man of God, I see, I sense. What do you know about the gift of the Spirit? Have you read books on the gift of the Spirit? Not one book. Have you read books on the gift of the Spirit? Have you understood what it was? How many sermons have you listened on the anointing? Sometimes we cross our leg, we can't sleep after prayer. We begin to listen to sermons. The burden has to come. Anytime there is no burden in you again, go and cry and ask for burden. Go and cry. Father, give me body. Make me restless. Father, if the body will not come, take my life. You have to come to a point where you want to die. Because if you don't have body, you can't pray. If you don't have body, you are useless as a Christian. Not the body you have today, you don't have tomorrow. Nonsense. That's not body. If it's a body, constantly it is pressed upon you. The heart of the Father is being pressed in your heart. And that was how I started. Changed my Facebook name. Bam. Evangelist Emmanuel Okeke. Everybody, everywhere scattered on social media. This young boy, this boy that was into entertainment, how did he change? A man can repent under one night. A man can repent. And I was preaching. People were watching my video and saying, look at this boy. Let's wait for him. He will fall. My brother is two years now. That I started ministry, but it's not two years when I gave my life to Christ. It's been almost five years that I gave my life to Christ. With the time I know I gave my life to Christ, 2017. That was when I knew I'm giving my life to Christ. All the ones that have been coming out when they say, "Come and give," like, that one I fake because after I give, I still go back and continue what I was doing. But when I gave my life, 2017, it wasn't easy. There were addictions. There were masturbation addictions. There were fornication addiction that was there. But as time is going, God will begin to punch you. The zeal will be there. God will begin to punch you. And before one year, God is refining you. Are you getting blessed what I'm saying? Even if you're not getting blessed, people online is getting blessed. And eventually, vision started coming. They were calling me prophet. I said, what is happening now? I'm just evangelist. I just did evangelist for how many years now? Calling me a prophet. And a man told me that the Lord has called you as an evangelist. But from the evangelical work, he will move you to the prophetic. And from the prophetic, you will end as an apostle of God. That apostle is an office I don't even want to envy. I know it has to do with so much work. I didn't know the prophetic has much work like the apostolic. And after a while, constant dreams. Prophets coming and anointing me in the dreams. Great men of God imparting me and calling me prophet. I woke up, I changed my name again to prophet. People said, ah, he's confused. Let me be confused in my beginning. But let me get it right. Then I began to digest books on the prophetic. And I began to see that the prophetic that I was desiring God, is not an easy one. At the point, I wanted to just remove my name. Don't answer anything. Let me just be brother. Emmanuel Okeke. Like in an ear again. So when I was reading one of his books, he said, what God has called you is who you are. Answer it. And I remained there. I began to do catch up my friend was so afraid my mentor friend and brother apostle was so afraid he was afraid that if i start calling myself prophet that people might force me to start going to divinity people will come on Facebook and say you say you're a prophet but oh yeah tell me what are you seeing about me and i'll tell them sorry i'm not seeing anything about you they say look at this one prophet i have the messages i have the insult it's still on my phone on my facebook page on my facebook messenger on my page people will come and call you names 
one of them went to my inbox before one time ago as, as of early this year i said some word i'm like see ba, now you are needing the assistance of god through my vessel remember when you insulted me i didn't tell her i also read the message i said can look at god this woman won't say this thing about me now look at her coming to say it's like she forgot who she was talking to don't blame them the devil use them to force you to divination that sometimes I will come, God will open my eye, I will speak to people. People say, Can't this man is a prophet? Hey, you can see, you can see he's a prophet. Then at the time I will come, I won't see anything. And people will be much, they want you to speak prophetically. And you can't speak. Because you in as much as the gift of the prophet is something to the prophet, you don't speak if the Holy Ghost does not permit you. And that was it. And I began to study books on the prophet, and I'm still studying the office. The office of a prophet is hard, although quite easy it takes a lot of consecration and discipline every office is so hard don't think any office is lower every office is so hard through the Kenehagen book god allowed me to enjoy the grace of the teaching anointing and i began to teach i didn't even know what i was doing i was calling myself a preacher because i started by preaching you see me i'm preaching i'll be quoting scriptures i'm preaching eventually i saw that after i preach people are power are moved but people life are not changed the why reading Kenny Hagen, the anointing of Kenny Hagen rubbed off of me and I began to teach. I came to the church one day by the lives of Daddy Selman and the rest of them that I listened to their teaching. I came one day to teach as I'm preaching. I'm able to teach. I'm explaining things in detail. As I'm speaking, somebody is, something is whispering and telling me how to uh, uh, expansiate what I'm saying. I can't explain it puzzles on how to solve whatever i'm saying instances of how of where that thing has happened is coming to me movies where people have voiced that thing happens is coming to me how to teach it is coming i can't explain it and i began and people said ah, young man you're a teacher you know i'm like wow so this is how teaching works so that thing that you believe that there's a calling of god upon your life what is the price you have paid in books how many books have you read this year alone have you read close to 20 books at least let it be like you are warming up 20 books have you read in a month how many books do you read in a month christian books not business books i'm not saying there's something wrong with business books but we have christian writers that we have financial writers that are christian they are christian they are christian men that are they are holy spirit filled you don't grow hey a man of god i'm a musician the only thing i learn is how to train my vocal cord you are lying you're a musician, you're a minister of God. You must learn to get books and read. Ah, I'm a drummer. The only thing I do is drum. Don't be useless in the house of God. Study music. Study, study, study the word of God. Study, you see, if you're, a, if you're a singer and you don't know about David's life, I pity your life. You don't know the life, the story of David. David was a psalmist, a prophetic psalmist. He could play his sound and you'll be and demon spirit will leave you, you are praying your own people are being tormented after they dance in church they go to bed spirit press them on the bed the people that play the keyboard psalmist the people that sing psalmist they call some sometimes they call the people that play the keyboard mishrael but these people are all psalmist that's why someone like uh, brother Teofilo Sunday will be in a room and he's singing you always work with the keyboardists. There are place for him. You, you, you have not grown. You want to start working with the keyboard. You can learn it yourself. So that when you are playing, you are, you are till when you can afford to have one. Because when they are flying, he will fly that one too. So when you are flying, how do you fly your own? Praise the Lord Jesus. I have just 15 more minutes to preach. I don't know if we are getting blessed. 